Today we're outside with some JP Premier wedges and I've got the JP Harrington himself here to tell me everything we need to know about them and we're gonna do some testing. This should be a great one. And golfers, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more information. And for our final take, make sure you skip to the final chapter and then visit secondswing.com for all the details on these wedges. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, J.P. Harrington. Um, we're talking about J.P. Premier Wedges. So in today's episode of The Swing Report, J.P. is our special guest. He's gonna break down everything that we need to know about these wedges. So J.P., first of all, thanks for joining us. And gotta get us started here, building these wedges, what's, you know, all the technology, everything packed in that's gonna benefit golfers out there. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about the construction first. We have a forged, carbon steel that's also milled, so forge not cast, mm -hmm. um, precision milled, especially that sole design. Uh, so we want that consistency. Even if you wear out your wedge, you get a new one, we want that thing to perform how it was intended to mm -hmm. be every time. So we have that precision milled sole construction. We have a forge milled titanium back plate that houses under the hood tungsten weighting to really optimize that center mm -hmm. of gravity for increased energy transfer, distance control, feedback, and feel. So that's throughout the whole set. So we really precision tune those center of gravity so you can have that benefit. And then that pairs nicely with uh, this unique sole design, which I call JP Camber. Okay. Um, camber is curvature. Yep. Uh, you can use those words interchangeably. And so you'll notice on these wedges, the leading edge is, is kind of rounded or it, mm -hmm. it curves towards that leading edge. What that does is that resists catching, digging, into the ground unnecessary. So we sure. want to get that healthy, you know, kind of um, rub between the sole and the ground um, to maintain more speed through mm -hmm. the turf. And so ultimately what we're trying to do is create the most consistent turf interaction possible um, that that tour player demands. But that same consistency translates to um, forgiveness that all golfers need. Sure, absolutely. And one thing too, you look at these wedges, I did want to ask you, how the heck do you make them look so unique and beautiful like this? Well, that's the one thing. The, the thing when, when in, in the design process um, is what I do is I'm establishing those engineering properties, the center of gravity, yeah. uh, ultimately that sweet spot. But at the same time, I'm thinking, okay, what can I do to make this thing look aesthetically pleasing right. while holding those, those uh, principles? So it's performance first. We want to uh, maintain uh, those engineering properties, the center yeah. gravity where we, where we need it, and at the end of the day, we also want to make it look good, timeless, so you get that confidence every time you pull it out of the bag, you know uh, this major wedge was made for you, mm -hmm. and it's going to perform like you need it. And now we're talking about lofts, bounces, etc. So give me the uh, options available for loft, and then it looks like you have two different bounce options, is that correct? Yeah, we got uh, from lofts from 46 to 60 uh, in increments of two. Uh, and every loft has two bounces, mid bounce and high bounce, okay. depending on your swing type. Uh, some players with a shallower uh, swing angle of attack might need that mid uh, bounce, and then somebody that's real steep comes down at okay. it. A lot of forward press might need the higher bounce. Um, so that's what we have. And another unique thing within that bounce is, you know, a lot of people talk bounce. I like talk effective bounce because there's more than just the bounce angle that creates the resistance to digging yeah. ultimately and how it's going to perform through the ground. Uh, so what I do is I want to maintain consistency as much as possible in all elements yeah. from center of gravity to that sole design. So the mid bounce has the same leading edge height, that measurable distance from the ground vertically up to that leading edge uh, in, let's say, the mid bounce from mm -hmm. the 46 or 60 or anywhere in between has that same leading edge height. Okay. Right? And the same goes for the high bounce, the same leading edge height throughout the loss, wow. which basically gives you that assurance that it's going to um, react with the ground uh, consistently every time. And then you just change in loft, cha loft change trajectory yeah. and your, your rollout on the green. So uh, that's one of the, another unique thing that we do with JP mm -hmm. Camber. Yeah, because I mean, this there's the the appearance for one, like you mentioned, is spectacular. But you can see the the elements of consistency that you mentioned, and the consistent milling on the sole. I know that's a key part of the performance here. But and then that that rounded kind of leading edge, almost where that does kind of up, bounce up a little bit. Like the bounce kind of the, the effective bounce, as you say, it increases a little bit. But you can certainly see the rounded portion, and, and in testing, we'll see how 
that really does perform and help with a smooth, clean uh, contact as well. Right. And, you know, JP Camber, it's unique in the industry. So when people look at it, they see, well, it's something they haven't seen before. Yeah. So what you really got to do is just go ahead, swing your swing, hit your shots, and then um, you're going to see the performance, that consistent, efficient turf interaction and maintaining more speed through the divot. Awesome. Well, JP, I, I did want to thank you for joining us, and um, thank you for also, we're, I mean, we're able to have these on SecondSwing.com. Uh, golfers be able to find some details and shop as well, so we appreciate that, and I know golfers do as well. Um, also, I wanted to let golfers know to check out JPGolf.com to kind of get your story and learn a little bit more about JP and um, what the clubs are all about, what you're all about, so make sure you check that out as well. Um, and without further ado, I think Thomas is going to join us. We're going to do some testing and see how these bad boys perform. Looking forward to it. All right, so Thomas, we're going to be testing now. We're at the U of M practice area here. We've got the JP Perry wedges. We just learned a ton from JP himself on these wedges now, so we kind of know about the construction. Um, curious now, so we've got a couple of different shot types we're going to have you hit here. This is kind of a, what, maybe 40-yard pitch shot or so. Um, that type of shot, what are you looking for out of a wedge? I'm looking for good turf interaction to come through the bowl. I'm not going to hit it perfect every single time, but I want to make sure that when I don't quite catch it perfect or the bounce is still going to do its job, mm -hmm. it's going to bounce up there and kind of do something similar that I would do if I normally hit it really flush. Yeah, yeah, okay, because that's, I, mean, I, I know I need that. Someone doesn't hit the center of the face every time. We all uh, do. This, this game's hard. <laughs> yeah. Right, but um, the way the wedges are built, right, they got the precise tungsten weighting in there, and JP talked about how you know, he creates that soul, mills that soul. Um, in a way that allows the energy transfer to be consistent. So um, I'm curious to see that now as you're the, the perfect player to test that out. So, All right, well, I got the mid bounce here first. Set some shots to that, that flag that's far away. And as I'm hitting these shots, I'm just, what I'm thinking about is how that club feels as I'm coming through with that, with that turf interaction. And we'll, we'll maybe even hit some shots off the green even too, off that little firmer condition yes. and see how that bounce works out. There we go. Should bounce a couple times and spin. There you go. Yep, little zip. Little zip there. So this shot, you're kind of looking for a couple of bounces and then sort of a stop and maybe yeah, roll out a little bit. Yeah, two or three bounces kind of. and just kind of stop. And I'm yeah. not the one that wants to fly it all the way to the hole and spin it. And that. I want to have good control yeah. on, the, on the bull flight. That was just a touch thin, so I'm going to probably get away with that one. Look at that, yeah. Yeah. Interesting there. So you get that feedback too right away on all these shots, kind of you. Right. It feels really good. Kind of coming through, I just feel like that club is just, the bounce is just doing its job. And yeah. I mean, you say that all the time. Bounce is your friend, you know. Bounce is your friend, yep. You want to have good, solid contact, good ground interaction. And I'm feeling that. Another one. See if I can get one here that I fly a little further and get to stop. Oh, it's like, oh, he <laughs> lifted out. That was a great shot. It's interesting though, because you're able to kind of, there's a couple that you kind of hit a little bit lower that have run out a little bit. And yep. then there's the one that you kind of fly to a tad higher. Yep. And then it just kind of stopped and actually almost dropped in the That hole. one I nipped pretty good. I was surprised how fast that stopped. It was, you know, a little, still pretty low. Yeah, but it, just it seemed like just... you got a little bit aggressive with that one, yep. too. And it still, you know, almost went in the hole. Gave me the confidence to, to kind of turn my hips through a little bit more and know that the club was going to do its job. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can hit a better shot than that last one. There we go. Let's see if this stopped fast. Oh, yeah. God, it just, it's like it comes out with some heat and then it just stops on a dime up there. Right. We're hitting off some fairly soft turf here too. Um, and I got the mid bounce. So that last one took a little bit more of a divot on, on that one, but it was still forgiving enough to get through the grass, mm -hmm. regardless if I took more, more turf or less turf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the. Look at that. One, two, three, and kind of just grab and stop. That's, I mean, that's what we got based on all those shots. That's right. pretty good. From the, yep. what, 30, 40 yard pitch shot? Not bad. That's pretty good. All right, should we, uh, should we try a couple of other different lo locations here? Yeah. So let's, uh, I, want, I, want, I could challenge. Let's, uh, let's go on the green and go on the green? test the, right. the bounce of the club here. 
All right, Thomas, we're on the green now. Um, we kind of were hitting off of some softer turf before. Now we've got, I mean, we're on the green, so it's gonna be firm and tight. Um, we're gonna really test this out here. Yeah, so I got the 54. This is the high bounce 54. This is off some firm, firmer condition here. Okay. I wanna really test the, the soil interaction out and see how it performs. Let's face it, sometimes you do have to hit maybe a shot, maybe you're on a golf course where the green is really curved mm -hmm. and you're on one side of the green, the pin's yeah. on the other no, side I, and you have I've to hit had, off I've, I Believe me, I've been in that situation, but even other than that too, there's times where the ball is on a lie like this that's that firm and that, you know, it's really, you kind of have to really nip the ball with good clean turf interaction. And so this kind of resembles that a little bit too. Right. Well, let's test the turf interaction out here. Don't obviously want to take a, a divot because we don't want to upset the greenkeeper or anything like that. Yeah. But we want to see how this bounce works out on the uh, on the on the ground. Look at that, clean, clean. Just got to fly it just a little further, a little more speed. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. I can feel that that turf interaction. I mean, it's bounce is your friend. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, regardless know, of the. That's one of my favorite Thomas isms: is bounce is your friend. You right. Know. Regardless of the turf, soft or, mm -hmm. or firm, yeah. you want to use that bounce. And this just just feels like it's just gliding right through the top of the turf for me. Oh yeah. Very nice. So we we're, we're checking the boxes here on soft or soft turf and on kind of your firm lines. A little here. further. Yep. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Let's see if I can want to get fly just a little bit further here. There we go. That just grabs. Grabs pretty good. That's impressive. There we go. Uh oh, go in. Ooh. Yeah, feels really good. Feel like I could hit off concrete mm -hmm. with the, with these wedges. So I feel like I, that would be I feel really good regardless of whether I'm hitting off soft conditions yeah. or really, really firm conditions. Well, see, now I kind of want to get a little bit creative here. Maybe we open up the face or hit some, maybe some flop shots, see how these things perform there too. Okay. Where do you want to take me for those shots? Oh, I could take you a lot of places around here with that. <laughs> All right, so Thomas, I found the perfect shot to test out your flop shot skills with the JP Premier Wedges. Over the bunker, short pin, green running away from you. This is um, a good shot. This is about as difficult as it can get for a flop shot here. Right. You're definitely going to be testing my skill, but also test the turf interaction with the, with yeah. the wedges. So mm -hmm. this is where I like to open and close the face a little bit. So the, the heel and toe relief is going to be very beneficial here. How it's kind of mm -hmm. grinded oh, for sure. a little bit on, on each side. And that's going to give me the ability to open the face up just a little bit and then just have that club slide underneath it using the bounce. Oh, wow. Close. Didn't quite catch it, but got through. You somehow are short of the pin, though. Right. <laughs> that's usually not how you end up on that, but if you land that a foot further, that's right by the hole. Oh, yeah. Just got to carry it just a little further. So, what are your, I mean, after two shots there, what do you think of you know, how the club performs on an open face, kind of touchy shot like that? Yeah, it feels pretty easy. I'm surprised ball was kind of coming up just a little bit, a little bit shorter. So yeah. I needed to give it just a little bit more speed to land it where I needed to. Mm -hmm. But the bounce just coming through, we just felt like it was popping the ball up in the air yeah. nice and softly. A little too far on that one. Pretty good though. Hard shot. <laughs> Hard shot. Oh, that's good. Yeah. If you have a makeable putt from here, it's a that's that's a win. I mean, a yeah. Like I, if I can get myself within ten feet on the on this shot here, I'd be very very happy. Yeah. Ideally, maybe leave myself an uphill putt, go, come back at it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, final takeaways: hitting flop shots, JP Pure wedges. Right. So for me, you know, I, when I'm looking at the wedge here. I'm looking at how it's, it's grinded around towards yeah. the, the face there. Mm -hmm. And I was and I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a little concerned. I wasn't sure how the turf interaction was gonna was gonna be, but every single shot, the bounce just showed forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Really, really easy to hit. And this never even came in close. I think it even helped my turf interaction out better yeah. 
even on the firmer stuff, even on the, the softer stuff, every single time the club got through the turf, regardless if I was taking a divot or not. So that's what really stood out to me is, even though it looks like it's it gr ground, grinded a little bit more around, is, yeah. it's easy to hit, it really is. In this face, it, short game is really, really important. All right, so Thomas, one more like really difficult shot I have for you. You just backed up a little bit where we were kind of down in the rough. Now we're up a little bit farther away. So even tighter area to work with, farther away, but you're on also a firm lie. So really putting you to the test, putting the JP Premier Wedges to the test as well. And it's my understanding you want me to open this up thing up. Oh yeah, and, oh yeah. Uh, and oh, hit yeah. it like a super flop essentially. Absolutely. You know, I don't hit the shot very often, so this is this would be fun to kind of test this. You know, we're a little higher than the green, the green goes away. So yeah, as soon as it lands, it's gonna release out a little bit. Okay. But if I can get this thing to land softly, I would be very impressed. And what loft and bounce do you have right now, just to clarify? So right now I've got the 58, this is the mid-bounce one. Okay, yeah. okay. And you're holding the, the high bounce. I am bounce. holding the high bounce maybe. because you can also maybe see how that one plays as well. Even off turf, even off the, uh, the firmer turf. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Putting me to the test here. It's close, just a little far. It's pretty good. Cause that's the thing here, you're, you're it's a tough shot, and getting it inside right. 10, 15 feet is a big win yeah. from here. You got to be on point with this shot. That's a little thin, but actually I'm going to get away with it. There you go. I mean, you're putting back uphill. You got 10 feet up the hill, yep. Because this, I mean, I don't know if it's, it's showing on camera as much, but that green is running very steeply right. away from I don't you. like this shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I like apologize this shot. for putting you here, but. I might as well put my game I'm having fun test, with this right? myself. Don't usually open the face up as as much, but let's uh, let's do this. There we go. Oh wow! My left is short. Did you leave it? Yeah, oh. I, I don't. I I've, I didn't see that in the realm of possibilities actually <laughs> to leave it short from here. Yeah, that was really good. Green. I'm surprised I could do that. That was wow. pretty good. All right, do you want to try, try the high bounce one? Why not? Why not make it? Well, it probably shouldn't be too hard, much harder because we still have. You know, bounce is your friend, even though there's a little more bounce. Yeah, and it does depend on the player too. Right. You know, that you're, um, it depends on if there is somebody that's a high bounce player and really likes to manipulate a little bit, then they could certainly hit this shot. Yep, just gotta use the bounce coming through. That was probably more me. <laughs> it wasn't actually that bad, it was just a tad thin. There we go. Oh yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Beautiful. Like I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm putting both the wedges and you kind of through a, a, the ringer here. Right. And you've got one that, well, one that's a tap in. You got another one that's almost a tap in. Oh, that's gonna be soft. Yep. <laughs> or one yeah, left it's, short. <laughs> it's interesting because you know I know this is firmer, but I'm taking a little bit more turf interaction, and it's popping it up. Yeah. And spinning a little more. Yeah, that was, I mean, that last one was actually phenomenal. It was nice and soft. Um, I mean, that landed. That landed short yeah. on the green and stayed probably four feet short of the hole. Give me one more that's right next to the hole here. All right. All right, I'm, I'm done with the uncomfortable shot. That's pretty good right I there. I mean, <laughs> it's fine by me. <laughs> so, yeah. you've hit shots off of kind of softer turf. Um, we've hit shots also off of firm turf, specifically literally on the green. Right, and um, we use the higher bounce exactly. off the green too. Right, exactly, which, and you didn't have any problems with that. You're able to clip that ball perfectly. Um, and so clear that, you know, the way the sole is constructed, that turf interaction, it delivers on any type of shot, any type of terrain, right? Right, yeah, it's uh, really easy to hit, actually. Yeah. You know, it's. I can definitely get over that, that little, little leading edge, and I think actually it's, it's helping me. It definitely is mm -hmm. helping me, the way it's, it's rounded here. I, I can feel it, but I feel like through the turf, it's just yeah. bounce. It's just, it's just skipping off the ground. I'd love to maybe even hit to try it off a, a lie board at one point, and I feel oh, like man. that would be the real true <laughs> test to see how, how it works. But even though there's more bounce, it's really to hit off mm -hmm. firmer condition. All right, so Thomas, wrapped up testing. Uh, again, I put you through the ringer there. It made you hit kind of a lot of different shots, uh, a lot of different, you know, turf types. 
And I mean, you were surprised and very impressed as well by the consistency. Just even when you maybe didn't quite catch it perfect, still performed. So um, a lot of good things come out of these wedges here. Right, and I think the takeaway for me is, you know, I actually kind of like the higher bounce wedges. You know, bounce is your friend. I'll yeah. say it over and over in a lot of videos. But even when I hit it off the green, off this firmer turf mm -hmm. condition, I was still able to get that ball to be picked nice and cleanly. And I didn't really take a divot out of the green or anything like that with, with the wedge, and it still did exactly what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So you said consistency, but even the higher bounce wedges for me, even though I am considered more of a picker, yeah. um, I really did like the higher bounce wedge. Yeah, and, and one thing we should note, so these, these wedges in terms of you know who they're for, really every golfer, because um, the, you know they deliver the consistency that you know like a someone like yourself really wants on the golf course where when you hit a shot you know what it's going to do right um, you know the the reaction that the golf ball is going to have on the green um, but in that you know on this on the other side of the spectrum the forgiveness that uh, is also packed in here for maybe a mid to high handicap player is also in there right with the way the tungsten weighting is positioned the center of gravity etc so um, any golfer can play these wedges put them in the bag and they're going to see an improvement in their short game yeah, and forgiveness is important because these are your scoring clubs. The tour professionals, they rely on their wedges to know what it's going to do on every single golf shot. So having just a little bit more forgiveness there, it completely makes mm -hmm. sense. And then we, again, we should, basically, we should mention the Thomas Campbell stamp approval does not come easily. And he, we got, you know, we hit a bunch of different shots, a bunch of different turf uh, types, and you're able to hit all those shots very easily, very smoothly with these wedges. So um, highly recommended here from Thomas Campbell in Second Swing. Golfers can shop the JP Premier wedges at secondswing.com uh, from 46 to 60 degrees. Uh, also mid and high bounces available for each loft. And um, again, I mean the consistency factor, that uh, measurement of the leading edge off the ground is the same for mid bounce and high bounce through each loft. So uh, another uh, kind of emphasis there on the consistency with these wedges. So uh, secondswing.com's place to go, learn more and shop, get these a, beautiful, but B, high-performing wedges in your bag. Thomas, thanks for uh, joining us for testing today. Some good feedback there. Yeah, not a problem. And golfers, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty of other great content like this coming your way in the future.